What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video I am bringing you a full face using drugstore products and of course I'm going to be reviewing if you can tell by the title. I'm going to be reviewing I am going to be reviewing the Perception palette from ColourPop. I'm going to be uh, reviewing the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Concealer. Just some products from ColourPop itself. Honestly, I'm really happy about how the look came out using ColourPop's products. I mainly use their products today. And of course, I just used some drugstore products just to go along with the inexpensive price point of this entire look. So I hope you guys found something interesting in today's video. So if you are interested in this makeup look, I just ask that you go ahead and subscribe and just keep on watching. And just as a disclaimer, this is not even a first impressions anymore. Like the whole first impressions thing is out of the door simply because I ordered all of these products in the hopes of doing a first impressions review and I did the first impressions review and it came out beautifully and something happened with my clips. I know you probably hear a lot of YouTubers say something with my clips, but literally specifically specific details. This is what happened. I recorded the video right now. I'm rotating with one memory card and no, I still haven't gotten my memory cards. I told you guys I'm terrible. Like I told you this, like, but I appreciate you guys reminding me, remind me again. I'm rotating one memory card. So I recorded the video, I brought it over to my desktop, downloaded everything, everything transferred over. So of course I took the memory card out, cleared off the card and started a whole new video. So once I sat down to edit the video, my clips were gone because Final Cut Pro did some type of joint saying that my, my folder wasn't, my folder had been moved so it was gonna close out the app so nothing would be lost so i closed it out so i wouldn't lose nothing come back and my files are gone so it ended up wiping off what i had just downloaded so now that whole video is gone but i still wanted to review the product so i'm so sorry this is not gonna be first impressions but of course i will just share with you guys what i did like so have you guys noticed we are almost at 300k so I got the ColourPop No Filter Foundation and I actually got two shades, but like I said, this is already, like I've already went through this whole thing. So um, I actually got two shades, Dark 160 and then I got Dark 155. I watched Alyssa Ashley's um, review on the ColourPop and usually her and I are the same shade in most foundation brands. And she's 155, I think. So I got 155. This one was a little bit too dark, so I think I'm gonna pass this along to my sister. But this retails for $12 dollars which i think is an amazing price point it's definitely drugstore friendly as far as the price point goes and of course since i have already tried out the foundation we're just gonna go in and just try it out i have this little clear plate thing and i'm gonna put the foundation on that just so i'm avoiding putting anything on my hand but um the shade range is nice i want you guys to pay really close attention to the color of this and then once it's applied to the face okay i'm gonna leave that there all right i'm gonna actually apply this with a flat top brush and let's just blend it in. So overall, this has really nice coverage. The color of it is really nice. I don't know if it's the brush, but it feels a little tingly today. It may be the brush, because I don't think I used this first time. But this is a very, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a silky like foundation. It feels really nice on the skin. It has really nice coverage. And for it to be more on the lightweight side, having coverage with a lightweight foundation is a plus, I think because I don't think anyone really wants to feel super heavy on their face. I think they wanna go for the coverage without feeling like they have a mask on. So this will definitely give you that. So that's literally one little layer down here on the bottom. And I did two full pumps. Or was it three? It may have been three full pumps and I'm pretty much covered. I do believe that the foundation does change color. So the foundation for the price range is a definite A plus. I loved it, I enjoyed it, it's easy, it feels lightweight, and I do have coverage. I think this this is full coverage to me. I think it's a full coverage foundation, but I think it is definitely buildable to where you can make it more full coverage. All right, next I have the No Filter Concealer, and I got the shade Medium Dark 32. I, honestly, I will say I think the colors are kind of deceiving on the site, because when I seen um, medium dark 32 it looked more yellow because you guys know I use the where's it at um, my go-to concealer is the NARS radiant creamy concealer and literally on the side it looked like this but now that I have it here it's a lot lighter not really a concealer that I want that bright see what I'm saying so it's pretty light but um, when I did do the first review it was definitely manageable 
but overall this has really good coverage this also is more of like that it gives you coverage but it's lightweight I'm not about I'm not even sure about it drying down super matte or anything but let's just see I'm gonna take another brush but they have a lot of colors in the concealer which I think is dope so you can definitely choose which type of concealer you want as far as the undertone. This has good coverage. Again, I will say I really wish I had a, what's the word? I wish I had a darker color. And that's the only thing about shopping online for makeup. It's like you're literally depending on the swatches on the site to give you, you know, to help you out with choosing your color. I will say even with the foundation, I think the foundations were kind of like to the T. I also got the no filter setting powder in the shade banana and this is literally like it looks just like banana powder it's actually really yellow like it's a it's it's yellow it's the first time i used it i did use it with a sponge and that really didn't work out the best for me because it started to get patchy in here it's like it didn't pick up well in like a certain area so i am for the sake of the video and so we can actually come up with like a good makeup look and stuff I am gonna use a brush and just kind of do like a wash of powder. Okay, so taking a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna dip a little bit into the powder. And we're just going to lightly set the face with some powder. But again, I try to stray away from like banana powders simply because in the past when I used to use the Ben Nye powder, I believe it changed the color of my concealer, which I did not like at all. So that's why I was going to the Cody Airspun powder and just translucent powders all together. I, don't, I just don't like it for my skin complexion. Like I've seen darker skin complexions, you know, women use it and it's beautiful. Like when I say it's flawless on them, it's flawless, but I feel like it makes it too yellow under my eyes. Um, I think this will be a nice, inexpensive powder. I cannot remember exactly how much this powder was, but I'll, all the details will be on the screen. But I think for the price, it's a nice powder. It's nothing I'm kind of, you know, flipping over the couch about. I'm not gonna say, I'm not even gonna say it's something I'm gonna continuously grab for because it's not really doing much for me. I'm setting the powder, but it's like I'm still creasing. <sighs> I'm gonna go again with the Beauty Blender and I'm gonna bake because I've, I'm still creasing under my eyes and I don't think that's supposed to happen. So I'm gonna bake. Uh, hopefully it won't ruin it. Okay, see, okay. Okay, just to be honest, like I'm really trying to make this work, but I don't, I don't care for the powder at all. If you want like a really nice inexpensive powder, go with Revolution, especially if you really want it to like set something. Go with the Revolution powder. Revolution powder is nice. Um, even the Cody Airspun powders from the drugstore is nice. Like, but this, it's okay. Out of five, I'd probably give it a two. Like, I don't, it's okay. It's not, yeah. I doubt if I even, like, even try to use that again. All right, moving right along, we're gonna move on to eyes and highlight and all that stuff. But just as bronzer, I'm gonna bronze up my face, but I am gonna skip it because it's not part of ColourPop. All right, so the next product I'm gonna use is this ColourPop. This is a Tong Twister. This is the Super Shock Cheek Highlighter and it's in the shade Thimble. And this is a really nice, like when you first touch this, you're gonna think you're touching freaking marshmallows. It's so pretty, but I'm gonna use a Bedellium Tools brush. But I will say when I first used this brush, this was kind of like patchy. Cause I kind of think you're not even supposed to use this with a brush. I really feel like this is more of like a sponge type of highlighter that you use with it but it is pretty so i'm just going to blend this in i don't know if it's just me but it's like it looks more golden and yellow in the in the pan but it's like as i apply it it kind of looks more silvery or something and then then again it may be just me i actually really like it so out of five i'd give this a four i really like it I'm gonna take my finger and apply a little bit to my nose. All right, so I got the Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Banging Brunette from ColourPop. And again, it's already been used. I love it, <laughs> okay? When I say I love it, I love it. You will be seeing this pencil again. I'm barely even touching it and it's, it's drawing my brows on with so much ease. I will say the color on the side, I think is definitely accurate. So the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using is the Perception Palette, and this was in collaboration with Makeup Shayla here on YouTube and ColourPop. Again, I've already used it, and honey, 
out of five, it's a whole 100. I really enjoy and I really hate that my clips got deleted because when I tell you, I was swatching this, I was showing y'all arm swatches, I was getting it, like I was showing y'all and really showing off the palette. But this is a really nice palette, let's open it up, I'm rambling. This is it, look at the colors. And first of all, look at the packaging. Shayla and ColourPop, y'all did that. Like, this is really nice. Comes with a really nice mirror. Ugh. So you have different types of shades. You got your warms. You got some fun kind of, you know, classic go-to colors. And then you have some fun colors over here. If you want to go dark, if you want to go ColourPop. Okay. I don't know, because I will say the eye look that I did do, um, I used this blue shade and I used that one and I was just trying to do something that wasn't warm since I did review another palette and did like a warm look. I was trying to go for cool tone. But what I could say was that if they were going to have these type of shades, I kind of wish they would have had maybe like a nice cool tone transition shade that might help. But it just kind of went from warm and then boom. So just like these, of course, will go together. But I don't know. It'll work. It's, it's definitely workable. But other than that, I think this is a perfect palette on the go. It's a really good size, purse friendly, depending on what type of purse you got. Um, and then on top of that, you have a mirror. And when I tell you the, the shadows are amazing. So this shade right here is called Unbothered. This is called TF. This is called Titus. Aww. Titus was her dog that passed away. I forgot about Titus. All right, this one is called Stallion. Mm -mm. You might not use that shade. <laughs> All right, next, this one is called Spill the Tea. That's pretty. This one is called Diva. This one is called IE. This one is called 14. This is the blue shade that I used. And when I tell you that's stunning, that blue shade on the eyes is crazy. Like strut and slay. Oh, now that one's super pigmented. Look at that swatch. Wow. Sassy, which this is the color I did use in my video I did first. Super pretty, right? It has like some purples, like really pretty. This one is called September. Super pretty, right? All right, and I'm not gonna even swatch the matte colors because matte is matte, okay? And then these right here are matte colors, and then this one is called Shade, and I'll go ahead and swatch that one for the sake of it being a glittery shadow, which that one's pretty, but even swatching it, I can feel the little glitter speck, so I doubt I use that because it's not getting my eyeballs. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna take is Culture right here. This is just a nice orange shade. If I haven't said it already, I'll say it again. This palette is amazing. I love the color payoff. The shadows blend beautifully. So just popping that into the crease, nothing major. I'm using a Sigma E40 blending brush. And I will say when I did this shadow, I had literally no fallout when I, and like, and it's an understatement. All right, I'm gonna take this shade right here called Revenge. And this is more of like a reddish type of sienna type of color. I'm gonna pop that into the outer crease here. Do you see how easy it is to blend? I'm not even doing anything. Like I'm just, I'm just placing the shadow where I want and just blending and it's literally doing it itself. I'm not even using no, I'm not even using an expensive brush. This is a BH Cosmetic brush. All right, so next I'm going to, I think I'm gonna take this little brush right here. This is a little Anastasia Beverly Hills brush gonna spritz it and I am going to take this color has been staring at me ever since I opened up this palette but it's the one called strut and slay this one right here and we're just going to pack that onto the lid first so if you guys can tell this is absolutely beautiful that's that on the lid how pretty right i'm gonna take played out which is the dark matte brown the crease and the outer corner i don't want to do too much of this color because i don't want to make it too like smoked out but i do need some definition on the outside so i'm just going to swivel that in there when i tell you these shadows are just really nice Okay, so as we can see, this look is gonna just kind of be on some type of pink mode. All right, I'm gonna go in with Revenge right here, and we're going to put that on the lower lash line. 
I kind of wish that they had a black shade within this palette. I think a black shade would have made this palette perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take Played Out and I'm gonna put a little bit of that close to my lower lash line. Okay, next I'm gonna take Unbothered, which is this beautiful vanilla like highlighter color. When I say this is stunning, Super pretty. And I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner and just light it up. Taking a little bit to the brow bone as well, just like some leftover. Okay, next I'm gonna take a little bit of liner. This is from the Balm Cosmetics. Just gonna add a little bit to the top. It's like a little line. All right, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild pencil called, I've used this plenty of times, but I've had this for so long. This is called Rose Neutral, and I'm gonna put that in my waterline. Going in with some mascara, just gonna pop that on, and then we're gonna do some lashes. Did I mention that I have no fallout? All right, now we're gonna add some to the lower lash line, and I'm gonna go haywire, because I just really like lower lashes to be kind of dramatic just as much as the top. I don't know if it's just the candle, but it's like every time I burn a candle in here, it gets so hot so fast. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is lips. Oh, I actually have some lashes. These are the Couture Lashes in the Style Corset from Kiss Lashes. I featured them before. I'm gonna put them on. <sighs> I'm running out of glue. But you know what, guys? Going back to the whole memory card thing, it's my fault. I told you guys to remind me, and you guys did exactly what I asked and I really appreciate it. So that's my fault that that happened to me. I shouldn't even, I should have went and got the memory cards when I had first seen the first person remind me and I didn't, so that's my fault. NYX Suede Lip Pencil, Downtown Beauty, literally almost the same exact pencil as Cork. That's Cork and then this is Downtown Beauty. Do you see that? Like that's Cork and then that's Downtown Beauty from NYX. This is $20, this is Five. They're almost identical, so you can get the same look. Nick Suede, Downtown Beauty. Oh, my lashes! My lashes about dried up. Wait a minute, please. I just noticed that this is gonna be a full on drugstore. Yay, drugstore makeup. Get lit. Okay, lashes are on. Let's go back to the lips because them joints about dried up on me. But we're gonna go neutral because that's just what I like. Like, I'm, yeah. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lip Lacquer in the shade Unreal. Prettiest thing ever. This is like a, it's like a, it acts as a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't dry down like a liquid lipstick. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of this like residue glue to my brow because I would use my Benefit, but that's definitely not drugstore. Add a little bit of glue to the brow, okay? Not wrong with that. I wanted to add a little bit of blush, but I don't have a blush from ColourPop. So what I am gonna do is, you guys don't have to do this, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this Culture shade. And I did this actually in my first time reviewing this palette and stuff, and it was really pretty. I'm gonna use that as a blush. I don't recommend eyeshadows on your face, but I'm gonna wash this right off, so it's okay. Ooh, pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more of mascara just to kind of coat the top and bottoms. Oh yes, this is pretty, honey. Ouch. Man, this rain and stuff is really messing up my twist out. Like my hair is frizzy all over again and I just did this twist out. Well, all right guys, this is the completed makeup look. This actually turned out to be a full on drugstore, full face makeup tutorial, which is great. I do consider a ColourPop drugstore because of the inexpensive price point. So definitely this is very pocket money friendly, okay? So yeah, before I go guys, again, just as a quick recap, the ColourPop No Filter Foundation, I love it. Honestly, I'm really liking this look way more than the first time I did my makeup, just simply because this is more of like my style. Honestly, it looks good, it matches beautifully. I'm shade uh, Dark 155. It's beautiful, I think it's worth every penny of the $12 that you will spend on this. The concealer I'm still a little bit iffy about. I do like the concealer, but it's not like making me say, oh my gosh, you have to get this concealer, you know? But it is a nice concealer, and it is to the point that it doesn't really dry down. So if you like those concealers that aren't really drying and mattifying on their own, I think you will like it. It's not super heavy, but it does cover, which is a good thing. It's definitely one of those concealers that's buildable, so you can get the coverage that you want without it being super heavy and hardcore. I think it's a good concealer for the price of it, and I have to kind of consider the price point. ColourPop is honestly just one of those brands that you really can't touch right now because they have really great quality products all around, and you can't beat the price. You really can't. So this concealer for the price, I think it is good. Check it off, we'll buy it again. The brow pencil is definitely something that will continuously be bought. I think my brows look really good. It's one of those effortless type of pencils that you don't have to continuously do a whole lot of 
It's like one soup, you got the line going about your day. You know what I'm saying? This is great. I loved it. The highlighter, I do like this. I think I gave this a four out of five. Like I said, when you first get it and you swatch it, you're gonna really feel like you're touching clouds or like marshmallows. The, the formula is honestly out of this world. It's so beautiful. And it really gave me a really nice glow within type of highlighter, which I think really nice and more flattering rather than something just kind of sitting and blinding blinding you know what i'm saying but this is more more of a glow within and honestly now that i think about it this is probably going to be a really good highlighter if you want more of that dewiness and you apply it with a beauty blender try it if you haven't it works great but i do like this as well and last but not least the perception palette with makeup shayla and ColourPop. i give this palette a 1000 out of 1000 this is a really awesome palette the packaging is nice the quality, like how the palette feels, is pretty sturdy. Um, and you have a lot of shades to work with. I think it's really nice. The shades are beautiful. They swatch beautifully. I have nothing, absolutely nothing bad to say about this palette. The only thing I could say if I had to is I wish the palette did have a black. Um, just me personally, the, the shade, look at that, the shade, shade, this one right here, and then Stallion. I could go without those colors because those are like those matte colors that has glitter in it. And then as I said, I did swatch shade at the bottom here and I could already feel the glitter pigments. And I don't know if that's gonna be something kind of feeling good on the eyes because what if they get in your eye, you know what I'm saying? We could have done away with one of these, maybe added another, I mean, who am I? But maybe added another metallic shade or maybe even another matte shade, added a black and we would have been straight. But other than that, I highly recommend this palette. It is. I think $16, I will correct myself here on the screen if I am wrong, but I loved it. Let me know if you wanna create this look. If you do, please tag face over matter. Tag me, tag me, tag me, tag me. I love seeing you guys' recreations. As always, if you're new, I'm Jay, and if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in, and of course, until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.